Emergency response planning is critical to a well-run construction project. The right plan reduces human suffering. It can also reduce damage to property and the environment, as well as economic losses. Failure to plan appropriately could result in reduced reaction time, increasing the emergency. The regulation for construction projects requires constructors to establish written emergency procedures for every project before it begins. These must be posted and easy to find and need to be updated as the work, hazards on the site, and number of workers change. The constructor must review the procedures with the Joint Health and Safety Committee or worker representative and must ensure procedures are followed. Develop a plan. When developing emergency and rescue procedures, consider these factors. Regulatory requirements, the size and complexity of the project, unique situations such as tower crane or tunneling operations, communication systems, including a backup option, whether on-site resources and trained personnel are needed, and the scope of 911 rescue services available. In addition, the capacity of the support may depend on other demands of the local fire services team at the time of a project emergency. Contact the local fire department to determine the scope and availability of response and rescue services early in the planning process and before they are needed. There may be situations where outside resources are so far away that emergency procedures must address immediate response actions. Update the plan. Monitor, evaluate, and update the plan as the project progresses. Response equipment, procedures, and training must accurately reflect the requirements of the work. Keep emergency resources, both people and equipment, at adequate levels and in locations to respond to an emergency. Everyone on site must know and understand their roles and responsibilities. Clearly communicate emergency response and rescue procedures to everyone on the site. Review the procedures with workers, subcontractors, and suppliers. Explain how to activate the emergency response process and identify alternative communication systems. Conduct unannounced tests or emergency drills of the plan. Inspectors check for adequate emergency planning for the project, conspicuously posted emergency procedures, access to a system of two-way communication in the event of an emergency, and worker knowledge and understanding of the procedures. Orders can be written if inspectors see contraventions. Emergency Response Planning Checklist. Emergency response planning should be used to develop project-specific emergency response and rescue procedures, identify the scope and limitations of external rescue support, and develop contingencies if there are gaps, communicate procedures, and Evaluate and adapt procedures to meet changing project activities.